Gospel according to St. Luke, the 23rd chapter, I'd like to read verse 34. Let us read this verse together. We did say, Jesus, follow him, for they know not what they do, and they are in his reign and cast lots. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you so much again for another opportunity to stand before your people. God, we thank you for this preaching moment that yes. we can elaborate about yes. your goodness. Yes. You've been nice to all of us. Give us a word today. We need one like never before. Yes. We thank you for the linkage, how you're Thanks. linking. You linked even our Sunday school up to yes. uh, what we, you gave us to preach today at morning worship. Just bless God. Yes. Come by here and see about us. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> From these scripture verses, I want to talk on a thought today entitled Let's forgive All right. and move on. Okay. Let's forgive and move on. Yes. Look at your name and say, let's forgive and move on. Let's forgive and move on. My brothers and my sisters, so many people today are hurting. So many people feel like that they are all alone. How can we deal with so much pain in our lives? Well, we need to understand that God works in a strange way, and sometimes God, he operates through songs. You need to, there's a song that says, uh, take it to the Lord in prayer. It says, what a friend we have in Jesus. The song that says, all of our sins and grief to bear. Mm -hmm. What a privilege. Y'all know the song. Yes. To carry everything mm -hmm. to God in prayer. Yes. It goes on to say, and I like this song, Oh, what peace we often fall in. Mm -hmm. Oh, what needless pain mm -hmm. we bear. All it says, because we do not carry mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. to God in mm -hmm. prayer. Yes. Today, if, 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 if we are Amen. If we are dealing with some hurt because someone or somebody offended us. As a Christian, never nuggets that God gave me, never rush into a confrontation, no matter what kind of hurt we're dealing with. Amen. Biblical record. Scripture says, Psalms 15, 15, 15 says, Call upon me in the day of trouble. God is saying that. He said, call in the day of trouble. My, my brothers and my sisters, this means that we can call upon God. Not only when, when outside trouble comes our way, but also we can call on God when our hearts are troubled. Y'all yeah. need to hear me today. You need to hear me today. God gave me this message, a message a while back, amen, and, and the Lord, even it, 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 it linked up to Sunday school. As a Christian of the cross of Jesus Christ, we need to let God work inside of us first before we, we, we confront our offenders. God, he, he wants to give us gracious words to speak instead of words of hurt and pain. When somebody, somebody hurts us, we as Christians must resist the urge to retaliate. Yeah, the Bible it lets us know that retaliation makes matters worse. Come on now, I need a couple of witnesses here today. I need some help here today. You remember the old man who was talking about that in Sunday school. The old man, if you do me wrong, the old man will turn around and do you wrong. Yeah. But we are what? New creatures. Old things are passed away. Matthew 5 and verse 38 and through 42 it says, Ye, this, this is Jesus talking. He said, Ye have heard that it had been said, I for an eye. And a tooth for a tooth. All right. You know, you, 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 you do something to me, I'll get you back. That, that's the <laughs> saying. But, but Jesus, he said his word, but I say unto you Amen. that ye resist not evil, but whatsoever 
shall, whosoever shall smite thee on the right cheek, turn him to the other side also. Uh, you hear that? Okay. In other words, if somebody hits you on, as a Christian now, don't leave me. Stay here. Stay here. We've been born again. We've been birthed into the family of God. Jesus is talking. Uh oh, some, some folks think it. Don't think. Just listen. <laughs> Just listen. Don't, don't think. They can get you in trouble sometimes. Listen Amen. to what God is instructing us to do. Yeah. All right. I know the old man or the old woman ain't going nowhere, but listen. It's saying that if someone hits you on the right cheek, politely turn to the left side. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I told you, don't think, don't think, don't think. Just listen. listen. We want to go to heaven, though. We want to go to heaven, so we got, got to listen to he. It says, and if any man will sue thee at the law, you know, take it to court. And take away thy coat, let him have thy coat also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't get upset. The Lord is saying, if they sue you, let them have it. Then he goes on to say, and whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twice. Me too. Give to him that accident thee. Now, now don't think again. Don't think. Don't think. Because I know. Uh, you know how sometimes the old man said, I'm working. Then let them get a job as well. I had to work. Don't think. Listen. And from him that would borrow of thee, turn not thou away. God, my brothers and sisters, amen, uh, he wants us to, to cause offenses to Amen. Uh, to decrease mm -hmm. their ways. He don't want us to get caught up mm -hmm. in hurt and in pain. We, we, we all might gather around supporters. You know how if somebody offends, come on, y'all want to help me today. If somebody offends us, sometimes we talk too much. We <laughs> gather some supporters. Yeah, 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 trying to get somebody else. See, you know, we, we, God don't want us to do that. Jesus said, blessed are the peace makers. He, he adds on, he said, it has those two little dots meaning to stop. Blessed are the peace makers. Then it, then it goes on, think about what you read for they shall be called the children of God. Ain't that something? Peacemakers. Jesus, he goes on to say, shall be called children of God. I remember the late deacon uh, uh, Russell, he had indicated on one occasion, testified in the church and said he, a, person, uh, a brother came up to him and slapped him on his cheek and he did not retaliate. At the time, I was thinking, and I should have been listening. Come on, you're about to get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't for me, it was for him. So I was thinking, Lord, have mercy. And then I thought about what the Lord said, I won't put no more on you than y'all ain't helping me. Y'all ain't helping me. Some of y'all thinking. Amen. But if we do decide to confront the person who has
reconciliation. Uh -huh. Amen. Not, not, not seeking to cause friction. Uh -huh. But we ought to be seeking to call reconciliation. Our offenders <clears throat> may be quick to apologize if we come right. Uh -huh. right. You see, because I believe in
to be blessed out every now and then. It ain't gonna hurt you because somebody blessed you out. What it's gonna do for your spirit, man, is to see what type of relationship that you have with God. Oh, I feel something here.
Jesus. In my effort to preach God's word, maybe it hurt you. Well, only thing I can say is I'm sorry. And I mean it up from my heart. I ain't trying to run nobody. Amen. Let's look. 
again and move on. Man, I got too old. Some things I do, I forgot all about it anyway. I, uh, you ever been in the room when I don't even know what you went in the room for? Forgave me when I came so 
and mad at your brothers and sisters. We need to forgive and move on. Good God, my God.